Hello, hello, hello. My name is Kevin Owasuito. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for stopping by in this video. We are still in the process of learning Serenity. Serenity BDD, Selenium Maven, and JUnit, Cucumber, Cucumber as well, right? So we have installed a we have installed Java, we have installed Eclipse, we have installed Maven. Today we are going to set up a, a Serenity framework, right? A Serenity framework. You can do this uh, manually, so you can do a, a Maven Serenity framework manually on on Eclipse. So you go to a File, New, and you go to Projects, and then you select your Maven project, and then you continue on, onwards, right? But today we're going to keep it short keep it short and sweet and make use we're going to make use of a project that is already formed right so uh, if you go to github um, i think i have it here so if you go to github right this is it if you go to head github it's called the serenity j unit starter project right so this is already formed right this um, framework is already set up the serenity framework is already set up and it's got all the components in there for, 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 for you to run your test cases, right? So we are just going to do a shortcut. Probably down the line sometime we'll set up a Maven Serenity framework by ourselves, like manually. But we are going to clone this one, right? We're going to clone it. So I'll just show you. In this video, I'll just show you how to clone to clone the framework and um, get it set, get set up in, in um, Eclipse, right? So let's go for it. Um, so that's where you go to you go to github.com backslash serenity uh, forward slash bdd not forward slash sorry hyphen bdd backslash serenity uh, hyphen j unit hyphen starter right so this is the serenity j unit starter project so if you just clone it so you hit clone and you download so you download it in a zip file and when this file is done downloading you just click on it and it should open in your download uh, let's get rid of this so it should open in your download folder right so if i click on download folder you see that this is a zip file right so this is a zip file usually you unzip this right i usually just double click and i copy this so this is called the serenity j unit starter master right starter master this is updated all the time by the people that um, maintain serenity right on the github so i'll go and paste this in my c drive right i'll paste it in my c drive anyway in the c drive uh, paste uh, i think there was a file already there no no it wasn't so there we go so if you go in here that's all you got that's all you need for your uh, serenity framework right serenity framework so what we want to do now is to hop on to our eclipse right so now we want to import that project right we want to import that ready made project that we, we are going to use to run our um, first test in uh, using the serenity framework right so what we want to do is go to file import now you have to say existing serenity uh, existing maven project right so it has to be and you have to select existing maven project if you don't have maven on the drop down here you probably have to search on here because i think eclipse does come with maven in these new versions of eclipse i think so but Again, if you don't have it there, you have to search Maven. So, sorry, yeah, Maven. And it should come up. So you select that, you click Next. And then now here, you want to browse. So we, we uh, have the project um, saved in our C drive, right? So we go to the C drive. And this is it here. So you just double click it and you click Select Folder, right? Now it comes through as a POM file. And all you want to do is click finish right click finish so now this is your serenity j unit starter project now in here right and that's all you need 
to run your your um your first test case using the serenity uh, maybe serenity framework right so we will we are going to talk about a couple of important um important uh, like this uh, is very important so we have pom file the pom file is the most important uh, aspect of it so we're just learning about all this stuff just now right so you have the pom file uh, you have the um, serenity properties we're going to talk all about this because this video is just i need to keep this video short right so this is just showing you how to clone and import the serenity uh, serenity framework okay into your eclipse right and then in the next video we'll talk about the pom file so the setup of the pom file and also we we'll talk about how to add a config file uh, and the importance of that and we'll talk about the um, serenity serenity properties file right and importance importance of that as well as downloading and configuring our drive our drivers right so and then going on to run our first um our first test using the serenity framework okay so next stop so tomorrow we are going to talk about um yeah talk about the pom file right so pom stands for project object model right project of the object model and it's all around uh, the pom file is to, it's to do with maven right so we'll talk about the pom file tomorrow now that's um i've taught myself how to give myself a wee bit of a, a quick head start right a quick head start and uh, so i need to teach myself again how to actually set this from scratch right but tomorrow we're going to look into um the pom file and then uh, how to add the config file how to uh, um, set up our um, serenity properties and also drivers right the drivers that are, that are going to ex execute our we're going to execute our it's going to be used to execute our test on right so thank you very much and uh, hopefully that's been useful um, please don't forget to subscribe and um, we're taking each day at a time so short and sweet just to show you how to import um a ready-made project that's already on a ready-made serenity, serenity framework that's already on github okay thank you very much my name has been kevin owasu itoi thanks for watching bye